Hello! We're incredibly excited to bring you the most recent news from the devs at Team Manu Video Game Maker. Get ready to be thrilled because our highly anticipated new launch is just about to happen and it's going to leave you completely captivated. In our previous video, we delved into the fascinating world of physics and how they can level up your gameplay. Remember, we discovered the dynamic type, which isn't just for making objects pushable or obeying gravity. In Manu, we have given dynamic objects a special ability. We can make them define the laws of physics and disregard gravity, even when their type is set to dynamic. We can also customize their own gravity. Oh no, my friends, it has some superpowers of its own! Let's dive deeper into the awesomeness. But before we start, we suggest you subscribe to our channel and like this video. If your friends also dream of creating games or want to try their hand at being a developer, share the link to this video with them. We are sure it will be helpful for you. So picture this. We start with a simple capsule and we give it a makeover to align perfectly with a gun barrel. It's like a fashion makeover for our projectile, the latest trend in bullet couture. And to make it stand out, we add a glowing material. Now hold on to your seats because we're about to enable some physics. We set the rigid body to dynamic and go for low values in mass, friction, and bounciness. We don't want our projectile doing somersaults or bouncing like a kangaroo on a trampoline. It's all about that smooth, straight trajectory. And just to keep things steady, we lock its rotation on all three axes. But wait, there's more. Get ready for the advanced stuff. We unleash the power of custom gravity and continue collision detection, CCD. Custom gravity means our projectile can defy the laws of physics. It's like having your own personal gravity genie. And CCD makes sure it doesn't pass through other objects even at lightning speed. It's like a force field of collision detection. Nothing can escape its watchful eye. Now let's talk about swept sphere radius and motion threshold. We are entering experimental territory, my friends. Different mass settings call for different values, so it's time to play mad scientist and find that perfect combination. We're going for the gold tier, so we set those values super low. To kickstart our projectile's journey, we set its initial velocities. We can control both linear and angular movement with separate values. Want it to zoom like a speeding bullet? Crank up those volumes and watch it go. Zoom, zoom. Now, remember the rules of collider shape and transformations. It's like sculpting a work of art. We want our projectile to fit perfectly into the game's universe, so don't forget to fine-tune those settings. Time to bring it all together. We add our projectile to the shooting animations of our gun, enabling its mesh and rigid body. When that shooting animation starts, it's like a grand performance. Lights, camera, action. Our projectile's physics awaken, and the initial velocity we set takes center stage. It's like a fireworks extravaganza, explosive and jaw-dropping. But what happens when our projectile meets its target? Ah, the aftermath. We create an impact animation that disables the projectile mesh and physics upon collision. We want our projectile to leave a lasting impression, not overstay its welcome. And to keep things tidy, we set the position of the projectile back to its initial spot. It's like a magical teleportation trick. Now you see it, now you don't. Dynamic bullets can serve as projectiles for guns used by players, turrets, bots, spaceships, or anywhere we want a physical form for our projectile. We understand how to move these dynamic bullets, but how do they inflict damage on other entities? To explain this, we must first introduce another special type of collider called Ray, which becomes visible only when the ghost rigid body type is enabled. But that's not all, my friends. We use Ray when we don't want any bullets to appear. It's like a secret weapon in our arsenal. In the physics setting, we ensure that physics is enabled and set the type to Ghost. Within the collider options, we select the Ray type. We position it in front of our gun barrel, aiming for glory. Now, the ray is invisible, so we need to give it some direction. We set the collider type to box for a moment, fix its rotation, and switch it back to ray. Voila! Our ray is locked and loaded, always pointing in sync with our gun. It's like having a laser aiming device. The length of the ray determines its reach, how far it can stretch its invisible arm. And check this out, we even have an auto-disable option. It's like a helpful assistant that knows when to give the ray a break after it's done its job. 
And if we want to go all out rapid fire, we can adjust the refresh rate to fire multiple rays in a second. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, and don't forget the auto ghost filter. It's like a VIP pass for our ray. It skips over other objects set to ghost type. Rays and ghosts don't mix, folks. To ensure the ray functions correctly, we must enable it when a shooting animation begins. We simply need to incorporate the ray into our firing animation and activate it. It's important to deactivate the ray before the game starts. With the physics colliders view enabled, prepare to witness a spectacle. Every time we shoot, a little blue line appears, tracing the path of our invisible ray. Now, let's unleash the power of our ray upon the undead. Remember that zombie NPC we created? Brace yourself, because our ray is about to make it dance. We set up a collision event between the ray and the zombie collider. The moment of impact triggers the getting hit state, causing the zombie to perform its getting hit animation. It's like a zombie disco party. And just like that, we survive another day in the zombie apocalypse. Our ray brings justice and a whole lot of fun to the game. So keep shooting, my friends, and let the physics do the talking. Remember, in the game world, anything is possible, even making bullets a fashion statement. And with you was the Manu Project team. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can leave your comments and questions below this video. We are happy to respond to your messages. And don't forget that becoming a game creator is easier than you think. See you later.